myself, I like to define three different kinds of microgrids. So the first one is much more like the traditional utility system. Certain parts of it may be able to disconnect and function as an island under some circumstances. A great example of this kind of system that we have in California is a demonstration by San Diego Gas and Electric Company at a place called Borrego Springs. It's up in the northeast of San Diego County. It's a, at quite a high altitude and it's a desert area. It's in the center of a large park and it only has one transmission line that's feeding it. So the local utility, San Diego Gas and Electric, has installed generation at the local substation so that when that uh, line is lost, these generators can start up at the local substation and then that little part of the traditional network can just function as an island. So that kind of system I typically call a milligrid. So a milligrid is a part of the traditional network that's able to disconnect and, and function independently. The second one I like to call a true microgrid. And this is in fact where we see the most microgrids now. And usually they are some large customer uh, that is able to disconnect and function as an island. One of the very famous examples of this is one in Sendai, Japan which is a small university, university medical school. It's called Tahuku Fukushi University. And um, this, very interestingly, was one of the early projects funded in Japan in the early uh, era of microgrid research. Then the third type of microgrid I like to define is what I call nanogrids, which are just small localized systems. And uh, this is where DC uh, might come into play. Locally, if there's a photovoltaic system on a building and lots of the loads are DC and you also want a little local resilient system. So one example of a nice uh, nano grid is a demonstration in Southern California. It's at a Honda warehouse and uh, Bosch uh, has developed some kinds of lighting and so on that are operate on quite high voltage uh, DC. And uh, in that particular warehouse, they do have a local nano grid where PV serves the, uh, what we call high bay lighting, the bright lighting that you see inside those big buildings. So that's a great example of a nano grid.